Well, guys, it seems people in the Shans of the Khan are against the Jules net zero tax nonsense by damaging or outright destroying the stupid cameras they'll use for this and other future plans they have, like 15 minute cities and banning private cars. Yeah, remember at the end of the day, that is the actual aim here. Net zero by 2030 or 2050 requires the peasants are prevented from owning their own car. In fact, it likely means net zero peasants, but that's another video altogether. Here, though, I've got to say that while I don't like or condone law breaking, it does make me smile that people are standing up against this pond. For me, you're somewhere between a cockroach and that white stuff that accumulates at the corner of your mouth when you're really thirsty. I mean, remember when asked if they wanted this crap, the public actually said no, and yet he did it anyway. Oh, and let's not forget about his great record as mayor that was actually mentioned by Peter Fortune the other day. Any anyone here who's working, you, you know, you go for your one-to-ones and you think about your job description. Let's think about the mayor's job description. He's the commissioner for the police. The police is in special measures. Responsible for fire, it's in special measures. Housing hasn't met its targets. In fact, he may have to return some money because he hasn't built enough houses. TfL, as we know, broke and he's topping up that gap by taking money off of you through ULES. By the way, telling you that £2,000 is going to buy you a new car, that goes to show somebody who's far removed from reality, right? So what you have to ask yourself is, when he's not accusing you of being far right, when he's not saying you're denying science, when he's not completely obsessed about Boris Johnson, now look, there is somebody, there is somebody living rent-free in London right in the middle of Sadiq Khan's head. What he's doing is he's blaming government. And he's always talking about what government should do, because he never wants to talk about what he hasn't done. Well, he ain't wrong there, but we must remember that these plans are not Sadiq Khan's. This clown ain't had an original idea in his entire life, I bet, and here he is, dancing to someone else's tune. That is why he ignored the fact that Londoners didn't want this nonsense because he's servicing the C40 city's agenda. It's much the same way the government have not put a stop to this because, as many know, they fully support the same agenda this twat is pushing. In fact, the entire political class is a corrupt and treasonous bunch of scum Back, summed up perfectly by Andrew Bridge in here, so I'll leave you with that. It's clear that uh, the Western societies have the best politicians that money can buy.